Coming at you with another Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 Archetype Review. This time we're going to be reviewing the Fabled. Fabled are a series of fiend light attribute monsters. Which is pretty good when you think about it. Um, you know, a lot of fiend monsters involve... Uh, you know, like a lot of dark attribute fiends. Uh, which is the, the primary attribute of fiends. Um, you know, I'm just talking around the circles of bleh, but yeah, this archetype, it focuses on, um, uh, like a lot of, uh, like discarding in order to activate their effects. Um, and this can help you out in a multitude of ways. Uh, um, like some of their effects activate and they can destroy cards on the field. Other times they can, uh, like special summon themselves from the graveyard. Uh, like, like the... Like the main ace in the, the fabled regime is uh is um a monster called Fabled Raven. Now Fabled Raven has the ability to discard a certain you know number of monsters or cards, if I'm not mistaken, uh in your hand. Um, and you can increase its level and its attack power by how many cards you discard it. And, you know, uh, like, this has been used in a lot of, uh, um, like Dark World decks as well, but we're not speaking about Dark, wo dark Worlds, we're speaking about Fables. Um... Um, the fables have like some good loops in their archetype. Um, cause, uh, so it's a bad idea to use this deck against somebody who's uh, like running max C because like you can give them tremendous draw power. I mean, tremendous draw power, and that's the last thing you want to give your opponent. Um, of course, like. The common cards that you'll probably see with this deck is uh, like Tour Guide from the Underworld, which can special, which can special summon one level three from the deck, um, and like the old classic, uh, um, exceed uh, like into Leviathan Dragon. Like the main focus of this deck is Synchro. Uh, synchro summoning, such as cards like uh, like TG Hyper Hyper Librarian, uh, um, uh, the Fable Regan, uh, and if you just so happen to empty your hand, you can get Fabled. I think that's Fable again, what I'm talking about. Yeah. The effect of Fable again, like when you don't have any cards in your hand, you can draw two cards. Draw until you have two cards. So, it's some decent draw power in there with him. But this card uses a lot of, uh, like, discarding. And they specialize in that. So, cards that can help you with that, as you can see right here. Uh, like Dark World Dealings, which, which which forces you to draw a card, which forces you and your opponent to draw a card, and then you have to discard one card. Um, and, you know, like their effects can activate like that. Um, this deck utilizes the graveyard very well, in my opinion. Um, so it wouldn't be wise like to run this up against somebody that has, well, hold on, pause. Like I said, this deck utilizes, utilizes the, the graveyard as does many other decks, but as is most decks that utilize the graveyard well, the biggest concern is decks that um, that I uh, like take advantage of uh, like banishing cards from the graveyard, so it'll be good to try to tech in some cards 
into a deck like this, or at least uh, like just a uh, like side deck, some some cards uh, like that can counter that, or to where you can take advantage of that weakness, like uh, like different dimension reincarnation, or um, well, dang, I would have said escape from the dark, but never mind. But uh, like different dimension burial, like that way you can get uh, like three of the cards that you need that are banished, and you can put them back in the graveyard. Um, you know, like you can summon them for whatever you need. Summon them for synchros, primarily and exceeding. Um, like I said, uh, these are fiend type light monsters, so they gain support from uh, uh, what's the name of that field spell? Uh, uh the gate to dark world. That that helps out with it. And, uh, yeah, fables, use them, like them, or hate them, it's a pretty good deck, it's pretty good, like, regardless what anybody says, anybody, I've seen people use fables and just wipe the floor with people. Well, that's primarily because they mix fables with something else, but y'all get the point. It's not the build, it's how you use the build. It's not the game, it's the player that plays the game that makes it worth playing. Facts of life. But this was my r -type review on fables, and uh, I'm talking to you guys next time for another r -type review. And as always... Peace.